What's going on everybody? It's your boy Galloman20. Welcome back. And of course, in today's video, we're doing a little introduction before we hit the tutorial. What I need you guys to do, if you have not watched my how to install menu modification, click the card that would probably pop up on that side. Uh, at the top, make sure you have menu installed and then click back on this video and then I will show you how to get everything else installed for 5M and your server. You guys want me to do tutorials for your 5M server like how to install cars, how to install maps, how to install anything really. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll answer your questions and possibly make a tutorial out of that. Anyways, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace! Okay, so if you guys install menu correctly, it should work in your single player. And if it has not, let me know in the comments on that video or on this video, and I will uh, provide some support for you. Uh, or you can join my Discord and have somebody can help you with that. But we're going to get right into the video. Uh, you're going to open up your GTA 5 directory. Make sure you put it on the left-hand side, and then your 5M directory on the right-hand side. You know which one your 5M directory is. It has the 5M application data and the 5M launcher for it. If you guys install 5M... To somewhere else make sure you guys go to that corresponding directory anyways so it's very easy very very easy and I'm gonna get right into it so you're gonna go to your 5m application data you're gonna go to cache and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna go to sub process sub process is where you're gonna put in menu stuff so you're gonna take and drag menu stuff from your GTA 5 directory and you're gonna drag and drop it over to sub process if you guys listen to the tutorial of what I just said. You're just going to drag and drop it right over and you're done with that part. Then you're going to go right back to your 5M application data and you're going to basically go to your plugins right here and you're going to drag and drop this menu.asi all the way over into your plugins folder. After that, you're done. That's all you have to do in order to get menu to work in your 5M server. I do want to point out this right before you guys comment down below all this stuff where it's not working, this, this, and this. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that the server that you are a part of has to have script hook enabled. If they do not have script hook enabled, it will not work and you have to find a server or at least make your own server as script hook enabled to have this work. So what I did when I tested this out, I enabled script hook for it and it did work. It actually loaded a lot of the builds that I did. I have a work in progress um, go-kart track that I was making over in the airfield. I spawned that and that worked. My retail store, that worked. My uh, Firehouse 51 that I created a while back, that one worked. So all these builds work. And also the cool thing about it is when script hook is enabled and you are in the menu and you spawn these objects in front of other players, they actually show up for them, which is really, really cool. So I, what I did, I don't have, of course, a recording for this, but I had somebody uh, stand right in front of me. I went to menu and I placed a cone just directly in front of him and I asked him if he could see that object and he said, it's a cone. And that was exactly what I wanted to hear. So it does work. It's client side. So not everybody can use it. So when you go into a server that has script hook enabled, if everybody on that server does not have menu, but you do, you have the luxury of using it. If like 15 people have it, they can use it, etc. So it's really cool. And also you can build a lot of cool different things just like I do. And also you could probably take this build and basically have people working on it together. So if you take 15 people and you all use menu together, you could surpass that building limit. You can build a lot of stuff with that. So I'm going to test this out. Hopefully I can get a couple people to work on this with me. And it could be a little collaboration where we build these like big structures in 5M instead of me taking this to single player where it takes me like seven hours or something to build something or span the cross seven hours. Uh, I could probably do this with other people in my server and we could build a lot of cool structures. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.